the last homework assignment that is going to have you work with data similar to what we'll get from the taxonomic bar plot is asking you to take that tabular file. In this case, I've created a single file that has two samples, data.tsv, and graph it. Show which species are present in each sample. I can do that in relatively few lines of code if I load two packages. ggplot2 and reshape2 are both part of the tidyverse. When I read in the data, and I will actually clear my environment before I read in the data so it's a little bit cleaner, I see that I get 32 observations of three variables. The first, the first column is the name of the um, genus. The second column is the count for sample one, and the third column is the count for sample two. I can change that, or this is the name of the class. I can change the column names from V1, V2, and V3 using the names command. And then I can count how many there are for every um, sample. So how many reads are there? What's the relative percentage of each, each species? And then I can take that data and I can turn it using the melt command into something that's a little bit easier to plot. So now I have 64 observations of three variables, and you'll see that it's reorganized because of the melt command. Now every line has a single observation. Child value, the value no longer represents the count, how many reads align to that class. Instead, it represents the percentage of reads that align to the class. All the child values are on top, all the adult values are on the bottom, and it's the way that the tidyverse wants you to organize your data in this one observation per row format to get a plot using the ggplot command. Now we can make the plot and we can see that there are really big differences between what species were identified in the child versus what species were identified in the adult. It's a little hard to see in the plot preview window. So if you click zoom, you can see the picture much more clearly. Don't take a screenshot of your plot. Instead, use this export tool to save as image and save it as a .png file. It will show up in your files. If you're using RStudio Cloud, you can click on it and then use the more command to export it to your computer. So these are the different ways that we're going to manipulate data in order to analyze it for the microbiome project and to plot it for the microbiome project. Practice in the homework assignments and you'll be ready to analyze your own Kraken 2 tabular reports.